Hello, and welcome to Bake Lore and More. I'm your host, Steph, and in this episode, we will be exploring more of the off the beating path fam groups. So sorry, Bayhive, and sorry, Swifties, we are exploring the wonderful world of the Hiddlestoners and also the Cumberbitches. So boot up or get ready to run from some of our bizarre groups in this wonderful episode. Let's do this thing. All right, let's kick things off with one of the most charmingly intense fan groups out there, the Benedict Cumberbatch fans, affectionately known as the Cumberbitches. Now, if you've never encountered this tribe, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine a sea of swooning admirers, all united by their undying love for a tall, enigmatic British actor with cheekbones that could cut glass. Benedict Cumberbatch burst onto the scene as Sherlock Holmes, and the internet collectively lost its mind. His fans quickly organized themselves into a well-oiled machine of devotion. They're not just content with watching every movie and TV show he's in, they dissect every interview, analyze every facial expression, and create enough fan art to fill the Louvre. These folks are dedicated, so whether you're a diehard Cumberbitch or just someone who enjoys watching these fan battles from the sidelines with a bowl of popcorn, one thing's for sure, the passion and creativity of this fan group are nothing short of spectacular. Next up, let's dive into the world of another intensely passionate fan group, the Hiddlestoners. These are the diehard fans of Tom Hiddleston, our beloved Loki from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you think Benedict Cumberbatch's fans are dedicated, wait until you meet the Hiddlestoners. These fans are on a whole other level of devotion. Tom Hiddleston's portrayal of Loki turned him into an instant fan favorite, and the Hiddlestoners quickly rallied around their new idol. They're not just content with watching his movies and TV shows. They want to know everything about him. They analyze his interviews, track his every public appearance, and even write detailed essays on the nuances of his performances. It's like a fan club mixed with a detective agency. The Hiddlestoners are particularly known for their creative expressions of fandom. One of the most popular forms is fan fiction, and let me tell you, these stories can get pretty elaborate. They range from heartwarming tales of romance to epic crossovers where Loki teams up with other Marvel heroes, and sometimes even characters from completely different universes. Ever wondered what would happen if Loki met Sherlock Holmes? The Hiddlestoners have got you covered. And then there's the fan art. From digital paintings to pencil sketches, the sheer volume and quality of artwork dedicated to Tom Hiddleston is staggering. These fans have an eye for detail and a knack for capturing his mischievous charm. So, whether you're a seasoned Hiddlestoner or just someone who enjoys watching Loki's antics on the big screen, You've got to appreciate the passion and creativity of this fan group. They remind us that being a fan is about more than just admiring an actor. It's about celebrating their work, connecting with others who share your enthusiasm, and maybe even making the world a better place in the process. Now, let's take a trip to a far more serene and delightfully quirky corner of the fandom universe, the Animal Crossing fans. These folks are all about chill vibes, cute critters, and creating the perfect virtual paradise. If you've ever wanted to escape reality and live on an island with anthropomorphic animals, welcome to the world of Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing fans are some of the most dedicated and creative gamers out there. They've been building their idyllic towns and islands since the game first launched on the Nintendo GameCube back in 2001 but it was the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch in 2020 that truly turned this community into a cultural phenomenon. Suddenly, everyone was a mayor or an island representative, fishing, bug catching, and designing their dream homes. One of the standout features of the Animal Crossing fan community is their incredible creativity. These fans transform their islands into stunning works of art, complete with themed areas like zen gardens, haunted forests, and even recreations of famous movie sets. They share their creations on social media, with YouTube channels and Instagram accounts dedicated to showcasing the most jaw-dropping designs. Some islands are so meticulously crafted, 
you'd think they were designed by professional landscape architects. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, Animal Crossing became a social lifeline for many, with players hosting virtual birthday parties, weddings, and even graduation ceremonies. It was like having a safe, adorable escape from the chaos of the real world. So, whether you're an experienced island representative, or just someone who enjoys watching adorable animal villagers go about their day, you've got to admire the passion and creativity of Animal Crossing fans. They remind us that even in a virtual world, community, creativity, and a little bit of escapism can go a long way in making life just a bit more bearable. All right, buckle up, because it's time to enter one of the wildest and most flamboyant fan communities out there, the fans of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you've ever met a JoJo fan, you know they bring a level of enthusiasm and eccentricity that matches the show's over-the-top style. From posing like their favorite characters to memorizing entire fight scenes, these fans are as bizarre and wonderful as the series itself. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, created by Hirohiko Araki, is an anime that's famous for its unique art style, outrageous storylines, and unforgettable characters. Since its debut in 1987, it has spawned multiple parts, each with its own set of protagonists and villains, all tied together by the Joestar bloodline. The anime adaptation has only fueled the fire, introducing Jojo to a global audience and turning it into a cult phenomenon. One of the most iconic aspects of Jojo fandom is the posing. Yes, you heard that right, posing. The characters in Jojo's are known for their dramatic and often ridiculous stances, and fans love to recreate these poses in real life. There are entire competitions and conventions where Jojo fans strike their best poses, complete with the flamboyant flair that would make even the characters proud. It's like a fashion show mixed with a martial arts display. And it's as entertaining as it sounds. The creativity of Jojo fans doesn't stop at posing. Cosplay is a huge part of the fandom, with fans going all out to replicate the intricate costumes and hairstyles of their favorite characters. From Jotaro's iconic hat to Dio's extravagant outfit, these cosplayers spare no expense in bringing the bizarre world of Jojo to life. The attention to detail is staggering, and the results are nothing short of spectacular. You haven't lived until you've seen a group of Jojo cosplayers strutting their stuff at a convention. So whether you're a die-hard Jojo fan who knows every stand by heart or just someone who enjoys the occasional Jojo meme, you've got to respect the passion and creativity of this fandom. They remind us that being a fan is about more than just enjoying a show. It's about celebrating its weirdness, connecting with fellow fans, and maybe, just maybe, striking a fabulous pose or two. Dudes and dudettes, let's wrap things up with one of the chillest and most devoted fan groups out there, the fans of The Big Lebowski. If you've ever felt the urge to don a bathrobe, mix a white Russian, and just take it easy, you might already be one of them. These fans, known as Achievers, have turned a quirky cult classic into a full-blown lifestyle. The Big Lebowski, directed by the Coen brothers and released in 1998, stars Jeff Bridges as Jeffrey the Duty Lebowski. This film didn't just create a character, it created a cultural icon. The dude's laid-back philosophy and unique style resonated with audiences, and over the years it's built a following that's all about living life in the slow lane. One of the most iconic aspects of the Big Lebowski fandom is Lebowski Fest. That's right, an entire festival dedicated to celebrating all things dude. Since its inception in 2002, Lebowski Fest has been held in various cities across the United States, drawing thousands of fans who come to bowl and, of course, quote their favorite lines from the movie. Picture a sea of bathrobes, sunglasses, and bowling shirts with everyone sharing their love for this offbeat comedy. It's like Comic-Con, but with more bowling and fewer capes. And then there's the cosplay. Achievers love to dress up as their favorite characters from the movie, whether it's the dude in his iconic bathrobe and jellies, Walter Sobchak with his Vietnam War references and bowling ball, or Maudie Lebowski with her avant-garde outfits. The attention to detail is impressive. It's a tribute to the memorable cast of characters that make this film so beloved. So whether you're a die-hard achiever who knows every line of the movie, or just someone who enjoys a good white Russian now and then, 
you've got to respect the passion and creativity of the Big Lebowski fans. They remind us that sometimes the best way to deal with life's ups and downs is to channel your inner dude, take it easy, and just go with the flow. And Thanks for joining me on this fantastic journey through Baked Lore and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment about your favorite fan group or one you'd love to see us cover next. I'm Steph, reminding you to keep it weird, keep it fun, and most importantly, keep it fandom. See you next time, and stay awesome.